Okay there, folks. I just recently discovered this thing called Internet in a Box, which is really more about uh, what to do when there's no internet connection. In other words, uh, if their power is out and the internet's uh, disconnected for some reason, uh, there's some kind of an emergency crisis or whatever. Um, this thing was actually originally invented in some uh, developing countries, uh, like uh, in South America and whatnot, where there's numerous villages out in the deep jungle where people have to canoe to the schools and medical centers. They actually uh, use this tool to uh, essentially download uh, a big chunk of data onto the uh, 500 gig hard drive and then uh, share it amongst 30 people in, say, a school or community center, that type of thing. So there's a variety of stuff you can download basically onto the drive. Um, this is the default menu for um, the medical side. So we've got the Wikipedia for medical stuff. If I pop in there, uh, say, yeah, there's a bunch of things. I can just do the conventional searches. Let's say I have a broken arm or something like that. Um, you can look at that. It tells you all about it. It's the standard Wikipedia uh, type of an approach to things. Um, and when you get tired of looking around Wikipedia, there's global emergency uh, medicine information. Um, anyway, lots of stuff. Stanford emergency videos, um, health guides, medical information. And something that's even unexpected here is TED Talks. We've got uh, a number of video uh, clips and whatnot that are on here, which are medically related TED Talks. So this is all basically just downloaded ahead of time, stored on a, on a hard drive so that uh, uh, people who don't have internet basically can, can get into this information. Uh, in terms of connecting, um, it's intended that it uh, be run from a, just a phone. So you just hook up a normal phone to an internet in the box, a, high, a Wi-Fi hotspot. Uh, once you connect, it uh, welcomes you to their homepage open it up and you'll see the exact same stuff we just saw on my laptop. The server behind this is actually just an old laptop that I had that's uh, kind of retired uh, so it's nothing really fancy or high-powered uh, just basically installed the uh, basic stuff and away we went.